Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Texas governor has perfect new job for combat veterans and Dems are irate about it. Regardless of the fact that Memorial Day weekend has passed, we should never cease to take up an opportunity to thank our veterans for their service. The best thank you that we can provide is giving them the veterans benefits they have rightfully earned as well as providing them job opportunities upon their return home to the United States. Which is why it is always heartwarming when companies put in place additional guidelines to provide advantages to them to give them a step up in the job market. This is why this story will warm your heart. This is perfect for any combat veteran who might be looking for a new job, but it sure has the Democrat heads exploding as they can't take it that people who stand for American freedom are being taken care of. Breitbart reported. Governor Greg Abbott's R. Security plan in response to the Santa Fe High School attack includes placing armed veterans in Texas schools for defense of students and teachers. Details are set forth in the School and Firearm Safety Action Plan, released May 30, 2018. The plan calls for a greater law enforcement presence throughout Texas schools by all means necessary. This includes having officers use schools as a stop for breaks, launch, or to file reports. Abbott's plan also asks schools to provide office space for a local or state law enforcement official to work from. He is asking the state to consider grants to help schools offset the cost of providing such space and accommodating a great law enforcement presence. Abbott's plan also focuses on the use of retired police officers and employing veterans to serve as armed patrols in Texas schools. Texas public schools are permitted to hire any person who is a licensed peace officer to provide campus security. Texas retired and off-duty peace officers already have extensive firearms and emergency response training, and many would be willing and able to protect Texas campuses. Texas should authorize schools to prioritize recruitment and hiring of such personnel to protect their campuses and their student bodies, faculty, employees, and guests. Hiring should prioritize individuals with the most applicable skill sets, i.e., former police, sheriffs, and constables. In addition, the state should create a pathway for our veterans, many of whom have extensive firearm training, to help protect our schools through a modified school marshal program that ensures they have the appropriate training to transition their expertise into the campus environment. Veterans who complete tailored training and background checks should have the ability to once again serve their communities in times of need. Abbott is also focused on arming more teachers. Fox 5 reports that Texas has 1,000 school districts, and approximately 170 of those districts allow teachers and school staff to be armed on campus for self-defense. Abbott's plan would increase the number of armed teachers and staff so that individuals intent on harming innocents will have to deal with the fact that good guys with guns are at the ready. CNN reported about a Texas school in which students say they feel protected knowing the teachers are armed. The school is another rural school just like the ones in Missouri where the teachers are armed. It's just common sense to have armed teachers when it would take too long for the police to come quickly for an emergency. After the piece on the Texas school, the CNN host and guest never talked about the fact that students would feel safe with armed teachers. They talked about policy and tiptoed around other topics. The Guardian program is common sense but the left just can't see it. Royal places must have this. Texas has allowed 170 schools to have armed teachers. Training once a year in target practice are requirements. Armed teachers should be volunteers and should be trained so they will be ready at all times. Notice how the CNN commentators never say this would be voluntary. They make it sound like the teachers would be forced to do this. Four trained deputies stood outside and did nothing. The discussion over what will end school shootings has been highly divisive. Some prefer ideas of mental health awareness training and more investment in mental illness prevention while others prefer to focus on anti-Second Amendment laws. Providing armed veterans who are trained in the same way law enforcement is no doubt will provide an extra layer of safety and protection that would not otherwise be there. Considering the ineptitude of the school resource officer at the Parkland, Florida shooting it would certainly prove to be beneficial to have a former military soldier there who have been trained to respond quickly to these types of threats. This should not be a political discussion this should be a discussion of right and wrong, there are no questions about it. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.